Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. I am at Dimension Studio, joined by... Uh, Callum McMillan, director at Dimension. Tell me a little bit about your role here at Dimension Studio. I've seen lots of cameras, I've seen lots of lights. What is it all about? So Dimension Studio is all about capturing the virtual human and we specialize in volumetric video. Uh, volumetric video basically is moving image that you can look at from any angle. It's free viewpoint content. And we are the first Microsoft Mixed Reality capture stage uh, anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world? Yeah. That is very exciting. And what background do you have? How did you get into this? Uh, my background is uh, camera technologies. Uh, I have 20 years doing multi-camera technology. So think of bullet time from the matrix, that kind of stuff. Uh, any uh, instance where you need to look at uh, a scene from different angles simultaneously, you need a camera array. That's what I do, and for volumetric video, that's exactly what you need. And sort of developing all of this camera and technology, what do you find the most exciting about what you're capturing right now? For me, this technology uh, helps solve one of the big problems of uh, virtual humans, which is the uncanny valley. So when we capture somebody and that person sees themselves back, they really do believe it's them. And other people, when they watch that content, know it's a person, it's not an approximation of a person. So uh, that, that is key. And I think that's one of the sort of drivers for why we're doing this. Fantastic. And how many cameras and how many lights, what do you have building this whole set? The short answer is a lot. What we have is a volumetric video capture stage consisting of 106 cameras. We have around you eight towers, and on each of those towers there's 12 cameras. So that's in total 96 cameras in the round. And then up above you, we have another 10 cameras for top-down view. So that gives you your 106 cameras. Uh, six RGB cameras, so that's the normal color cameras that you'd have on your phones or similar. And then we have six infrared cameras. So they record in, a, uh, in the light uh, area of the light spectrum that we can't see with the visible eye. So to illuminate the scene, we also have lasers. So that helps the infrared cameras see. And then we have these lights, which are the LED panels, which illuminate the scene for the RGB cameras. Um, the towers are on wheels because uh, we can change the size of our volumetric capture volume here. So I'm on the stage, and this stage is eight foot across. Um, that means that we can probably fit comfortably two to three people in this capture volume and record a volumetric video of them um, before we get occlusion issues, which is where there's so many people in front of each other that the cameras can't see everybody, and that means they can't reconstruct volumetrically all the content that we're filming. So two, uh, one to three people is comfortable, but if we have just one person in the scene and they're just talking and maybe not moving around so much, <clears throat> we can bring our towers in, and that means we get the maximum fidelity uh, on the subject we're capturing. So these cameras record at 2K resolution, and uh, if we bring the towers in, we're going to get the maximum quality of that 2K image. Eight microphones around the capture volume, and what that means is I'm walking around, I'm just ensuring that there's a microphone in any location picking up my voice. We're not trying to do anything clever with spatializing the audio here. That can happen in post-production. We just want to ensure that wherever you are in the space, we've got a good level on you. Um, additionally, we can work with clip mics and lav mics, um, which we try and hide in the costumes or the clothing that uh, anyone's wearing when they're in the capture volume. And, and that can work really well. It just depends on the use case. And then right in the middle, up above us, what we've just had put in is a bar which we can drop down into the capture volume. And then from there, we can put wires and suspend people. We're doing visual effects shots, people on wire work, um, which is very useful. Like flying. Like flying, yeah. And what are sort of the clients that are coming in? What are they looking to do and capture? How do they go through the process of going, what can, we, what can we actually make here? It's a real mixture. Um, we have, obviously, entertainment is a huge thing. So if you can have a, a, a famous person or celebrity in and you can capture them performing or talking, that's very, very valuable. Once you have that asset, you can use it many different ways. And obviously, you can look at them from any angle. So that kind of opens up a whole world of possibility. 
Um, education uh, and training is, is, a, is a really big kind of sector for us. And um, going forward, marketing, that kind of stuff uh, is, is also really, really popular. What are you most interested in capturing? Is there something like a specific action or something that you think is quite challenging that would be very intriguing to experiment with? Oh, I need some time to think about that question. Um, yeah, not sure. There's, there's, I, I think to put it, my opinion is, I think like the best content with this technology hasn't been thought of yet. It's really early days. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be quite exciting to see what comes down the pipeline. You guys are basically taking Madame Tussauds and saying goodbye <laughs> for capturing you <laughs> or, in real life. Or, or are we augmenting Madame Tussauds? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get a bit meta, I think. Yeah. Well, is there a website that we can go to to see what you guys are capturing? Yeah, dimensionstudio.co uh, has got all the information about the studio. Yeah. Fantastic. And head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about what they're up to. And I will see you there. Mm.